So tomorrow is a pretty important holiday. It's World Backup Day and Synology was cool enough to send over this NAS server to help celebrate and I'm going to show you guys my complete backup workflow down here in the studio and why you should be doing the same thing. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys why you should be backing up your data even if you aren't a YouTuber. We're gonna be talking about the Synology DS918 Plus and then I'm gonna talk about my complete workflow down here in the studio. And if you're new here and you wanna see more tech or PC building videos, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode. But before we get into it, let me quickly pay some bills. Today's video is brought to you guys by our friends over at NordVPN. NordVPN is one of the highest rated VPNs or virtual private networks that allow you to browse the internet privately, securely, and with no history logs whatsoever. It's super easy to use. All you do is select which server from around the world you wanna to connect to and you're done. Enjoy clutch features like double VPN protection for extra security and internet kill switch for the very rare time the VPN disconnect super fast peer-to-peer -peer downloads, and unlimited bandwidth for just three bucks a month. I actually signed up for a year of NordVPN at full retail price way before they hooked me up with a referral link and a discount code for you guys, so I obviously recommend them as my go-to VPN service. Head on over to nordvpn.com slash Zach or click the first link in the description to learn more. All right, so for the first part in this video, I wanna talk about why you guys should be backing up your data. This may sound obvious to some of you, but I know there's a ton of you out there with zero backup strategy whatsoever, and this is why this holiday exists. According to Acronis.com, 140,000 hard drives crash every week in the US alone. 29% of data loss is due to human error. Every 10 seconds, someone is getting attacked by ransomware. $600 billion are lost from cyber crimes each year. And these are obviously some pretty mind blowing numbers. Just think about it. What if your computer right now while watching this video failed? Maybe your PSU cable sparked and fried a hard drive? what would you do? Would you lose everything? Even without a freak PSU accident, hard drives fail all the time and that's a lot more common than you may think. A lot of you watching this channel are young guys who just built their first gaming PC so you haven't held on to a hard drive for more than a couple of years now, but trust me, when these things get old, there's a pretty significant chance that it'll fail at some point. Another thing to think about is ransomware. Ransomware is the number one topic when it comes to cybersecurity these days. The malware encrypts your entire hard drive so then you don't have access to it unless if you pay the attack or some Bitcoin, what would you do? Questions like this are why World Backup Day exists, so hopefully I made it clear how important backing up your data is. For me personally, if I didn't have a backup strategy and I lost all of my data, I would be completely screwed. I now have years worth of data for ZTT footage and decades worth of family photos, and if I lost all of that, it would be a really bad day. Moving on past the purpose of backups, let's quickly talk about how this Synology DS918 Plus helps me manage all of my data backups and why I'm super excited that Synology sent this over. First up, this is a four bay version that usually doesn't come with any hard drives. Synology was cool enough to pack mine with six terabyte Seagate Ironwolf drives, but that's a quick total of 24 terabytes before you account for whatever RAID system you go with. There's also a quad core processor that boosts up to 2.3 gigahertz, which is perfect for transcoding media like with a Plex server. There's also four gigabytes of RAM that you can scale up to eight gigabytes. And there's even two M.2 NVMe SSD slots for cache, which I really wanna start utilizing at some point for editing my ZTT videos. If at some point you think the four slots for HDDs won't be enough, you can also buy a DX517 expansion unit, which will add yet another five bays to your NAS. And finally, these Synologies don't just act as a shared folder on your network. There's a huge suite of software that you can download, such as a 4K media server, a surveillance station, or any of these options over here. Moving on past the DS918 Plus, the third part of this video is where I wanna talk about my personal backup process and how I'm actually utilizing this new NAS. As far as editing videos, because I don't have the SSDs for cache set up in the Synology yet, I actually move all of my working ZTT data over to my PC's NVMe SSD drive, but like I said, I really wanna start completely editing off this thing at some point. The rest of my non-working ZTT footage I store over on this 16 terabyte share drive. It's 16 terabytes because I set up Synology's hybrid RAID so one drive can fail and I won't lose any data, and this drive is named Targaryen because Daenerys is a workhorse. On top of that, all of my ZTT data that's on Targaryen is backed up to this separate Synology. See, I was a fan of Synology even before they sent me this, and this server is called Dragons because the Targaryens are backed up by dragons. 
obviously. With that being said though, that's two copies of my ZTT data here inside my home, but it really is a best practice to get a third copy outside of your home for off-site storage. And I use Google Drive and I have a two terabyte subscription. I don't back up all of my ZTT data this way. I have way more than two terabytes worth of data, but I do have a folder called critical folder, which is what also gets backed up to the cloud for a third copy. Inside this critical folder, I have things like my intro, my graphics, and some important documents that I would absolutely be crushed if I lost. So yeah, for your important data, you should always have three separate copies of them. And one of them should be offsite storage like the cloud. And finally, for our fourth and final part of this video, I wanna quickly talk about what software I'm personally using on this Synology outside of just using it as a shared folder. I should have mentioned this earlier, but I actually have a decent amount of Synology experience at this point. I use it a lot on my real world job, but there's a lot of applications that I like to use over there and here in my studio. The first piece of software, which is the most important in my opinion, is Hyper Backup and Hyper Backup Vault. You first install the vault on your target backup NAS. This is Dragons in my case, and then I have Hyper Backup installed on Targaryen, and this is a super easy to use program that allows me to back up my entire NAS to another NAS. Hyper Backup allows you to select what exactly you want backed up, your frequency and retention policies, and it's just super easy to use, and I'm pretty sure everyone that owns a Synology uses it. Next up is Antivirus Essential, and this is Synology's free antivirus software, which is absolutely a necessity. Also for security, I use Security Advisor, and this is a little useful tool that scans all of the settings in your NAS and gives you advice on how you should lock down your NAS more. This is super useful if you have a bunch of Synologies in your environment because it's real easy to forget configuring one or two settings when you're doing a bunch of them at the same time. And finally, the last piece of software that I'm using and just started using is Cloud Station Backup. This allows you to install a lightweight piece of software on your computer, and then you can choose exactly what files get backed up from your computer directly to the NAS. I haven't tested this out extensively yet, but so far it seems like it's a pretty useful tool that I'll probably end up installing on every computer in my house, just in case if any of them crash and lose some data. Well, there you have it. That wraps up my complete tour of my data backup process, the DS918 Plus, and our celebration of World Backup Day. Synology is actually running a pretty legit sale tomorrow, and all that info is linked down in the description if you're interested in that. After that, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet, and definitely hit that subscribe button because coming up next, we're finally doing that Q&A. You don't want to miss that video.